Hello everyone, today's video is all about how to select the right heat exchanger for outdoor application. So this is a formula to calculate the heat transfer capacity whenever the device is placed outdoor. So the formula is like this internal heat load minus heat transfer load plus solar heat load and whole term will be divided with the temperature difference. So first we need to calculate the internal heat load of the system and heat transfer load and at, at last we need to find out how much will be the solar heat load. Once we get all these three loads we will divide this term with the temperature difference. In my previous video I have already explained how to calculate the internal heat load. If you do not watch that video, watch that video first. The link is in the description. I will explain how to calculate the internal heat load here also. The next, we need to find out the heat transfer load. So whenever uh, we will use this English system, then the uh, governing formula will be given as Q is equal to T0 minus Ti divided by whole term 1 by H0 plus 1 by Hi plus R and when we will use this metric system then we will use this formula So let us try to understand what each term represent in this formula. So Q is equal to heat transfer load per unit of surface area. T0 is the maximum ambient temperature outside the enclosure. Ti maximum rated temperature of the electronics component. H0 convective heat transfer coefficient outside the cabinet. And we need to take the H values depending upon the outdoor conditions. So whenever we will have still air, we will take H is equal to 1.6, relatively calm day H is equal to 2.5, windy day approx 15 mph H is equal to 6. HI is the convective heat transfer coefficient inside the cabinet and similar way we need to take the H values depending upon the uh, internal system condition. So for a still air H is equal to 1.6, moderate air movement H is equal to 2 and for blower approx 8 feet per second H is equal to 3. And in this formula R represent value of insulation lining the interior of the enclosure wall. So whenever we have no Insulation R is equal to 0 for half inch R is equal to 2 for 1 inch R is equal to 4 and 1 and half inch we will take R is equal to 6 and for 2 inch R is equal to 8. And once we will find out the heat transfer load next we need to find the solar heat load. In my last video, I have shown how to calculate the solar heat load. Do check out that video, the link is in the description. So let us take one example. A telecom system draws a total of 5000 watt. Its efficiency is 85%. It is protected in a steel cabinet that is 72 feet square or 6.69 meter square and painted with a RAL 7035 light grey paint. The enclosure walls are lined inside within 1 inch 25 mm of insulation. The application will be deployed in a maximum ambient outdoor temperature of 104 Fahrenheit or 40 degrees C 
with signal winds reaching 15 plus mph the rated temperature of the electronics is 114 fahrenheit or 40 degree c air circulation inside the cabinet is moderate so considering this formula we will try to find out all the loads so first will be the internal heat load as we all know to find out the internal heat load we will get from the manufacturer data sheet or we will use the formula so to calculate the internal heat load the formula is component power minus component efficiencies so in this problem the total power is already given 5000 watt and it is efficient 85% so that means 15% will be the waste so when we will take 5000 common 1 minus 0 0.805 we will get internal heat load 750 watt now to calculate the heat transfer load we will use the formula that i have shown in the previous slide so the outdoor temperature is 104 the inside temperature is 114 and h0 that is ambient outdoor condition that we will take uh, 6 since it is reaching 15 plus mph if we'll go we will see here h is equal to 6 whenever we will have windy day and the wind velocity is more than 15 mph and hi that is uh, inside the enclosure moderate air movement we will take h is equal to 2 and since we have used uh, insulation lining of 1 inch so r is equal to 4 so as you can see here we have got the value is minus 2.14 watt per feet square minus sign reveals that that inside the temperature is higher and outside is lower so no need to take the sign and we need to multiply the area cabinet area to get the total heat transfer load so when we will multiply 2.14 with 72 feet square we will get 154 watt as heat transfer load now now the last we need to calculate the solar heat load so for solar heat load we need to use the graph so for using this graph we need to calculate the temperature difference between the outdoor and electronics temperature so we will get the temperature difference of 10 degree fahrenheit so if we'll go to this graph and see the temperature difference that is delta t in fahrenheit and the material we have used ral 7035 light gray so corresponding to this we will get the value around 2.5 so we will take little margin and i have consider uh, this solar load as a 3 watts per feet square so once you will multiply this solar load per feet square with cabinet area we will get solar heat load as 216 watt so once we will put all this load in this formula and divide with the temperature difference we will get heat transfer capacity as a 74 watt per fahrenheit so the question is how to select the right heat exchanger using this heat transfer capacity so you can visit any of danthram cooling go to product scroll down and click on thermoflow so here we will get some heat exchanger and this is the description they have given so let us click on the download specs so 
here we can find cooling capacity that is mentioned in watt per degree fahrenheit that is 120 and our answer was 74 watt per degree fahrenheit since that system is capable to give 74 watt per degree fahrenheit of cooling capacity so this is how we can select the heat exchanger for outdoor application thank you for watching this video do like this video and subscribe my channel thank you